This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. A late morning fire demolished a home on Fern Street, Soap Lake, on Monday. Earlier this afternoon, a group got together in downtown Moses Lake. The Wenatchee Wild took their second series win in the British Columbia Hockey League semifinals bracket against the Vernon Vipers. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. A late morning fire demolished a home on Fern Street in Soap Lake on Monday. No one was home at the time of the fire, but the destructive nature of the flames prompted crews from multiple jurisdictions to assist. Neighbors say the person living in the home is a young man with mental issues. One person says the man was spotted outside minutes before the fire started, but was not at the scene when crews arrived. Cause of the fire is unknown. The home is a total loss. Flames from the fire licked the side of a neighboring home, causing some damage. No one was hurt. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Maytag and the family pooch have a lot in common. Both are loyal, both aim to please, and both are tenacious dish cleaners. But only one can sanitize. Maytag. What's inside matters. Maytag Appliances. Now available at more furniture in Efreda. Earlier this afternoon, a group got together in downtown Moses Lake to participate in March for Our Lives, in correlation with many similar ones taking place all over. Organized by high school students concerned about their safety, those in attendance walked down Broadway Avenue for a half mile from Alder Street to First Street. Throughout the duration of the march, those in attendance yelled out, Protect children, not guns. Enough is enough. And what do we want? Safe schools. When do we want it? Now. The march ended at Frontier Middle School, where people shared their thoughts on the matter. Organizers Satali Guzman and Sierra Romo spoke about what they can do outside of protests and how important they feel their message is. Um, I think uh, for me, I registered to vote and it's getting my peers to register to vote and it's informing everyone. Um, education is power. Just educating my peers, getting them to register to vote um, is more important right now. You know, every life is important and I feel like the longer, the better. Um, I wish you could go down to Stratford. I'm Am Chikoski for a Fiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Are your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. The Wenatchee Wild took their second series win in the British Columbia Hockey League semifinals bracket against the Vernon Vipers. Their first series win against the Merritt Centennials came easy, winning the first four games in the best of seven semifinals. After two game losses to the Vipers, the teams headed to Wenatchee, where the Wild would tie up the series with two wins on their home ice. Over the weekend, the series saw their last games. Game five was played in Vernon, and game six was back in Wenatchee. Both games went into overtime where Wild Goals won the game. The Wild will now face the winner of Monday's Interior Division semifinal game seven between the Trail Smoke Eaters and the Penticton Vs for the third round of playoffs. It is predicted that on Tuesday, details for round three will be finalized and published. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, Visit us online at ifiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.